bus. Okay. Malaysian bus, very cold. Always bring layers and it's open eye bus. So I'll see you Okay. Guess where I am? I am in a place called Sukampatani. It's like past Penang. It's like I can. It's in Kedah. It's almost like close border to Thailand, where I was meant to get off two hours ago. <laughs> I slept through the whole journey. And now I have to take another bus, go back to two hours bus, go back to Suk. So far away. Look how far I'm here, and I have to go back down there. And I'll get over the fact that I'm in the wrong place. But yeah. Oh my god. This is the first time it ever happened in my life. I was meant to go to Ipoh. I took a bus from Malacca. And then I wake up, I'm here. I'm finally in Ipoh and I'm just lining up in the counter to get a ticket to the city. This was where I got off the bus and this is where I'm taking the bus to the city. <laughs> in fact, I asked three people, how do I go to the city? They asked me to go to the city counter which is downstairs. I waited at the city counter for at least 15 minutes. And to get the answer that just go upstairs. There's no ticket from the city from the ticket counter. So here I am again. Just missed my bus. This five hours journey is turning into 13 hours, I feel. And it's not even finished yet. Things like this happen, but today it's just been a really rough day. The bus finally arrived after half an hour and I have to change another bus. I just don't believe today is gonna be this bad, so the joy of traveling. Okay, it's really difficult because I waited one hour. <laughs> the bus driver just say leave, leave it. And I caught for just which is another half an hour. It's just been really tough today. straight start my day in Ipon. Honestly, I had a really tough start. Really tough start. But since I'm here, um, I'm feeling much better. Yeah, just a little bit actually. I'm feeling a little bit better. It's not very touristic. It's still a very cute living city with old buildings all around me. Ipo also is the capital of Barak. It's known as the city of millionaires due to the tin mining boom in the early 20th century. What Ipoh is also famous for is its white coffee and delicious cuisine. Mm. I just came to this place to use the toilet and I saw something really phenomenal. I think it's my first time seeing something like this and it makes my heart melt in a way that that all my problem this morning is nothing really. Like it just went away instantly and here it is. People are still doing their best and fighting for playing, having fun through the most difficult circumstances, whatever that is. And I'm just crying over lost of six hours, really. It has been a really tough day. 
not just with the bus situation, there's a lot more going on, but still, like, I feel like this has given me much more courage and perspective in, in perspectives. Behind me is Walking by Lane. It reminds me a little bit of the Malacca Street night market, but here is more definitely more items selling. A little bit of food and lots of random stuff. Why is it called Golden Bike? And here's why. So why those three lanes is like first wife, second wife, third wife uh, lanes. Three lanes were given to this very rich mining person, Yao Teixing, and gave it to his first wife, second wife, and third wife. And this whole area turns into a bottle, opium, concentrated place. Until the end of World War II, this place became the place where rich people hide their cooking bikes. This is the clock tower of Ipon and opposite is a stunning mosque. I don't know the name. According to the introduction, there are 44 figures, well famous figure in history portrayed. There is nothing really happening in this wife's lane, the first wife lane, except for this tree that grows durian, jackfruit and pear and papaya. Just across the bridge, I'm on this lane called the Mura Lane and it's got graffiti and painting all over the street. I really, really enjoying the colors here in Ipoh. Like, look at this. It's so cute. This is like like a rainbow street. And everywhere smells good. It's like the smell of food. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. Really famous uh, place. It's very nice. Very warm, very delicious, very, very soft. It's like it even tastes very good. It just melts. Chen Saka grass jelly from the same sort of shop again. Mmm! So good. Oh my god, it melts so good. Mm. What is the chicken hot one, which is a Yipong favorite, and also the pink sprouts? Mm. So fresh. Perfect breakfast. It's actually a very cool cave. It's it's called vending machine. Just behind the cave, there is like a little park. Hmm. I see 
so small. Oh my driver. He's so tiny. He took me to my door. Yeah, it's This mango smells amazing. Hi guys, welcome back. And whatever happened, it wasn't an incident. It was my first outburst, breakdown, whatever you want to call it during traveling. It was my first emotional breakdown in front of the camera. It looks like such a simple event that I missed the bus, waited, 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 and went to this place, that place, that place. It's just looks so simple right why did it lead to a breakdown and for me it wasn't just that it was a lot of things layered on it was travel fatigue it was um, lack of sleep the night before it was changes unexpected things happen it was also things happening at home in the background so it's all the layers accumulates that leads to this outburst. I could have easily edited this part out and no one would have seen it but I chose to show it to you because I really want to show you traveling is not always happy. Things could happen and such simple things really break you sometimes. I guess it happened but it's not the end. I cried, I stayed in my corner, I felt really vulnerable and I did whatever I needed to do to feel okay again and I did it did take a couple days but eventually everything works out sunny weather, rainy weather it's just part of the weather I guess all you can do is immerse yourself in it whatever that is and yeah continue with the experience and things will look different the next day so yeah namaste I'll see you in the next one